Hello and welcome to Slotigrator Academy. My name is Vasily and today we will break down how to enter new markets and how to choose a region to expand into. If you want to stay up to date with the latest developments in the gaming market, subscribe to our channel and keep an eye on our website by following the link in the description. Your iGaming business can grow in different directions depending on your goals and opportunities. Let's look at the options. Normally growth strategies are divided into two main directions, vertical and horizontal. Vertical growth is improving and building off of a business's existing range of products and services, including editing new features, expanding offers, creating new products. Vertical growth builds players' loyalty and brand recognition within the original market of operation. Businesses can also grow into other markets. It involves expanding existing products or services into new regions. Basically, horizontal growth means geographically expanding the original product offers availability. Let's explore why iGaming companies are entering new markets. First, new markets mean new players. Second, expanding to another market can create the reputation of an international brand. Third is asset diversification. Finally, a new market would involve adding new talent and resources which would improve efficiency. In this part, I will tell you what aspects you should keep in mind when selecting a new region to operate in. First of all, obviously, it's the best to target a market where gambling is regulated. Consider licensing in the country, including the costs, terms and reputation. You should also consider promotion. Some jurisdictions tightly regulate advertising. If the demographics of your new market are similar to the one where you already operate, it might be easier. You already know what games they like and how to promote them. If all of these aspects of your potential market seems good for you and your company's growth, the next step is to evaluate the market's iGaming potential. Try to find as much information as you can about the political situation and upcoming elections, new bills or plans to change legislation, cultural background and attitude to gambling, business and tourism sector development, economic potential, and average income. There is a long list of factors that influence the market's future. Preparing for expansion is similar to playing a business lounge. Carefully study the market and make sure your business satisfies a specific demand. Ideally, your new market will embrace your existing gaming offer while your platform's game content may remain the same. If players' tastes are similar, their language is likely to be different. You should consider hiring more player support employees who speak players' native languages and localize every page of your website, including terms and conditions, bonus conditions, and other important elements. Another thing to keep in mind is the need to support all necessary currencies and payment options. You should also be aware of what bonuses and offers players in your new chosen market like. In general, entering a new market will look a lot like starting a new business. However, there is one big advantage – your own experience. You already have a working business with an effective business organization and structure. You already have a gambling platform and you probably have all the brand attributes, established reputation, and most importantly, data you can base your analysis on. If you wish to grow your audience but don't feel like starting a new company in another market, there is a way to offer your services to new players. For example, Telegram Casino Solution is an alternative front-end of a traditional online casino built into a popular mobile messenger. Stay up to date on the world of gambling with Slotigrator. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye!